In the United States, anthracite coal history began in 1790 in Pottsville, Pennsylvania with the discovery of coal made by the hunter Neko Allen in what is now known as the coal region. Legend has it that Allen fell asleep at the base of Broad Mountain and woke up to the site of a large fire because his campfire had ignited an outcrop of anthracite coal. By 1795, an anthracite-fired iron furnace had been built on the Schuylkill River. Anthracite was first experimentally burned as a residential heating fuel in the United States on February 11, 1808 by the Judge Jesse Fell in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania on an open grate in a fireplace. Anthracite differs from wood in that it needs a draft from the bottom and Judge Fell proved with his grate design that it was a viable heating fuel. In the spring 1808, John and Abijah Smith shipped the first commercially mined load of anthracite down the Susquehanna River from Plymouth, Pennsylvania, marking the birth of commercial anthracite mining in the United States. From that first mine, production rose to an all-time high of over 100 million tons in 1917. Anthracite usage was inhibited by the difficulty of igniting it. This was a particular concern in smelting iron using as a blast furnace. With the invention of hot blast in 1828, which used waste heat to preheat combustion air, anthracite became a preferred fuel, accounting for 45% of U.S. pig iron production within 15 years. Anthracite for iron smelting was later displaced by coke. From the late 19th century until the 1950s, anthracite was the most popular fuel for heating homes and other buildings in the northern United States until it was supplanted by oil burning systems and more recently natural gas systems. Many large public buildings such as schools were heated with anthracite burning furnaces through the 1980s. During the American Civil War, the Confederate blockade runners used anthracite as a smokeless fuel for their boilers to avoid giving away their position to the blockaders.
The invention of the Wooten firebox enabled locomotives to directly burn anthracite efficiently, particularly waste coal. In the early 20th century U.S., the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad started using only the more expensive anthracite coal in its passenger locomotives, dubbed themselves the Road of Anthracite, and advertised widely that travelers on their line could make railway journeys without getting their clothes stained with soot. The advertisements featured a white-clad woman whose name was Phoebe Snow, and poems containing lines like, My gown stays white from morn till night upon the road of anthracite. Similarly, the Great Western Railway in the UK was able to use its access to anthracite, it dominated the anthracite region, to earn a reputation for efficiency and cleanliness unmatched by other UK companies. Internal combustion motors, driven by the so-called mixed, poor, semi-water, or dowsing gas,
produced by the gasification of anthracite with air and a small proportion of steam, were at one time the most economical method of obtaining power, consuming one pound of fuel per horsepower hour or less. Large quantities of anthracite for power purposes were formerly exported from South Wales to France, Switzerland, and parts of Germany. As of April 2013, widespread commercial anthracite mining in Wales has now ceased, although a few large open cast sites remain, along with some relatively small drift mining operations. Anthracite generally costs two to three times as much as regular coal. In June 2008, the wholesale cost of anthracite was about $150 per short ton U.S. The principal use of anthracite today is for a domestic fuel in either hand-fired stoves or automatic stoker furnaces. It delivers high energy per its weight and burns cleanly with little soot, making it ideal for this purpose. Its high value makes it prohibitively expensive for power plant use. Other uses include the fine particles used as filter media and as an ingredient in charcoal briquettes. Anthracite is an authorized fuel in terms of the United Kingdom's Clean Air Act of 1993, meaning that it can be used within a designated smoke control area such as the central London Borough. Today, China mines by far the largest share of global anthracite production, accounting for more than three quarters of the global output. Most Chinese production is of standard grade anthracite, which is used in power generation. Increased demand in China has made that country into a net importer of the fuel, mostly from Vietnam, another major producer of anthracite for power generation, although increasing domestic consumption in Vietnam means that exports may be scaled back. Current United States anthracite production averages around 5 million tons per year. Of that, about 1.8 million of those tons were mined in the state of Pennsylvania. Mining of anthracite coal continues to this day in eastern Pennsylvania and contributes up to 1% to the gross state product. More than 2,000 people were employed in the mining of anthracite coal in 1995. Most of the mining as of that date involved reclaiming coal from slag heaps. Those are waste piles from past coal mining at nearby closed mines. Some underground anthracite coal is also being mined. Countries producing high-grade and ultra-high-grade anthracite include Russia and South Africa. High-grade and ultra-high-grade anthracite are used as a coke or coal substitute in various metallurgical coal applications such as sintering and pelletizing. It plays an important role in cost reduction in the steelmaking process and is also used in the production of ferroalloys. South Africa exports lower quality, higher ash anthracite to Brazil to be used in steelmaking. Anthracite is processed into different sizes by what is commonly referred to as a breaker. We talked about those in part one of this series. The large coal is raised from the mine and passed through breakers with two rolls to reduce the lumps to smaller pieces. The smaller pieces are separated into different sizes by a system of graduated sieves placed in descending order. Sizing is necessary for different types of stoves and furnaces. Anthracite is classified into three grades depending on its carbon content. Standard grade is used as a domestic fuel and an industrial power generation. 
The rarer, high grades of anthracite are purer. Example given, they have a higher carbon content and are used in steelmaking and other segments of the metallurgical industries.